Ryan, they say that time flies, and it seems like five minutes ago when we were doing your initial interview, when you signed for the New Saints, a lot of water has passed under the football bridge since then. It has, yeah. As you say, it's been very quick. Um, felt like yesterday I was speaking to you, it was the first interview I did, but yeah, it's been, been good so far as well. Obviously, pre seasons are out the way now, and looking forward to tomorrow. Now. And that first interview that we did, you you just signed for the club. Yeah. You've had a little bit of time now to get used to the players, the dressing room. Do you feel that you've settled in to the side comfortably? Yeah, the, the lads have been great. The training's been great. You come in every day and you, you enjoy coming in and playing full-time football. And as I say, that's last time that was, that was me going to do. And obviously, I, I just I love, I love doing it, yeah. And we haven't had an interview since you made your European debut. Yeah. Would you have realised two, three months ago that you'd be playing in the UEFA Europa League? Definitely not. Um, and even if you would have asked me maybe a month ago, I would probably say maybe not because you never know with what's going on at the moment. But you know, let's put it that way. It was, it was a good start, wasn't it? it was a good win. Um, played well and couldn't ask for a better start, really. It was a good win, a good performance, as you say. But on a personal level, how do you feel that you coped with that game? I thought it was done all right. I didn't do nothing wrong. I did what the manager asked me to do. And I, yeah, I thought it went very well, to be fair. I come off the pitch, knowing that I left everything on there. And I, I, for myself, I even, I'm not, all the time I criticise myself, saying, oh, I didn't play well, didn't. But that game, I thought I actually played well, yeah. And the games are coming thick and fast at the moment yeah. and we'll be back in Europe this coming week yeah. when we travel to the Faroe Islands. Have you ever been there before? Never. I didn't even know where it was to be honest at the start. So. But that should be, be a good trip. Um, some more experience out there as well. But it's all about tomorrow really. At the moment. But we'll, we'll come to that in yeah. a moment. But when we go to the Faroe Islands, again, it's a, a one-off game. How do you feel that will affect the outlook as TNS travels to the Faroe Islands. Today it's a one-off game, so anything can happen. We, we're gonna, we'll go into the game thinking that we're going to win. No one else will we'll, we'll go into the game to win the game. So, say with a one-off game, any, anything can happen. But yeah, we, we will, obviously, we're going to go there and win. And, and let's talk about tomorrow, because we're down here in Cardiff this evening. It's a Friday evening. We've travelled down the day before. How important is that to you as a player to have the luxury of being able to travel the day before, as opposed to jumping in the car a couple of hours before kickoff and arriving at the stadium and playing the game straight away? It's great, to be honest. Like, as you say, you get up in the morning, you'd be leaving the house early, you'd be tired, you'd be getting in the car, you'd be, you would be out. Your legs are going to seize it up, and well, the club do it properly, and it's, it's the best way. It gives us the best chance to go tomorrow and, and win the game. And although the season hasn't started yet domestically, nevertheless, you've you've seen what it's all about. You were at Buckley previously yeah. in the, the second tier of Welsh football. Then you played for Real. Yeah. Do you feel that the league itself has moved on considerably since your first spell at the top? Also, I'll, I'll soon find out. I'm sure, but. Yeah, you can see now that there's teams actually rivaling TNS. You've got Connors Key and you've got your Barlow and all that. So when I was playing, it was maybe just TNS at the top and they were winning everything. So, yeah, but as I say, we'll, I'll soon find out if, if the league has got better, but I'm sure it definitely has, yeah. And we travelled down this afternoon. We've had an evening meal with the team meeting as well. How important a game is, is all of that? in terms of bonding with your teammates ahead of the game itself? Of course it is, team bonding is always it's the best way, best way to uh, obviously be with each other and be around with each other and even get to know each other a bit more and as you say it, it helps a lot, it really does because obviously you're all here now, you're all together, you're all having a laugh and you're not just getting in the car with two or three people, you, as you say you go to the game together, you, you just, it's just done properly. That's the way you want it as a footballer. And finally, obviously the New Saints didn't win the league last season after eight consecutive victories and obviously the pandemic has affected football as a whole. But I think it's true to say that yourself and the rest of the players are really looking forward to get back on that pitch tomorrow. We are. That's what we've worked for over the last what was it, seven to eight weeks, whatever it's been. And 
we we want to get the we want to get the league back. We want to win it again. So say we'll go out tomorrow. We'll hopefully start off well, get the three points, and we'll go on from there.